Hello guys, welcome back to SWS Boxing. Delighted to be joined with Tom Farrell and glad to get him back on the channel. He's now 21 wins with seven defeats with five wins by knockout. Back out this Saturday, uh, back at the Echo Arena in Liverpool over eight rounds against Kaleem Majid. And um, yeah, how are you? Yeah, all good, mate. Nice one. How are you? You all right? Yeah, I'm good, mate. Glad to get you back on. And I do appreciate your time, especially on fight week as well. Yeah, no worries. But um, I had you on, I think it was last year or early this year, but you fought Henry Turner at your call uh, at, for the WBC International Super Lightweight title and it, it didn't go your way. Um, but how did you feel in there and what went wrong? Yeah, do you know what? Um, the camp, camp went great. Everything was all, was all good. Um, and just ended up... <laughs> End up getting a little injury in, in early on in the fight, Bob Round Three. Um, tried to you know tried to give it give it as much time as I could for a few rounds. Didn't didn't even tell me corner until about round five. Um, and then in the end, I, they, they obviously they, they knew something was up and said like, listen, give me another round. So went out in round six. Probably had my best round in round six, but I think it was just at that point they decided, listen, no, enough enough enough. There's you know there's no point in. <clears throat> probably looking back in hindsight, I probably felt like I probably could have could have given more of a go like to to get back out, but you know, I might have ended up putting me out further and, you know, now, you know, we're here and I've got a I've got another decent fight on the horizon. So it's mm -hmm. it's pay, probably paid dividends really because you know, it might have ended up a lot worse than, than what it was. Mm -hmm. But you're back out in Liverpool, um you are home really, because you thought I think the boxer tournament was at the Echo Arena, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I've had plenty of nights there, plenty of nights at the Echo Arena, so it's, uh, yeah, it probably is me home. I've had, must be about eight, eight to nine fights there, I think. Mm hmm And you've got Khalid Majid, who's 11 and 0, and it's over eight rounds. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's eight rounds. I think it's the first time I've ever done eight rounds. I think most of the time I've done, you know, it's either been a six-rounder, um, or you know, ten or twelve rounds. So it's the first time I've ever done eight rounds. So I know that I'm I'm com comfortable in and doing it the eight round distance. And I think it is it'll only be a second eight rounder. So it's a chance to um, you know to show him, show him that I've got what it takes. Mm -hmm. Of course, he's eleven and zero. But do you look at his record and see? Do you think like he hasn't been tested? He hasn't fought anyone like you. Do you think that will play into your hands if it goes? Past the first four rounds, yeah, definitely. You know, he, I think he looks good early on. Um, but yeah, he, he hasn't fought anyone, anyone really of note yet. So this is his big, big step up, big test for him. So I think they're looking at me as if, as if I'm, you know, an easy, easy win and a decent name, and you know, it's my chance to prove that you know I'm not finished yet, and I'm, uh, I'm, st I'm still a good, good, good force. Do you think this is like your last big roll of the dice? Would you say? People could say that, yeah. They could look at it as if, if I, if I don't, if I come through this and you know I don't don't do anything, it's you know where, where do we go from there? But you know I'm I'm confident that you know I perform to the best of my ability on the night, and you know I'll I'll give him a bad night. Mm -hmm. What do you know about uh, your opponent? Um, I've seen bits of him as a professional, and I do know him, know his name from the circuit because he boxed as an amateur in a few different clubs in Liverpool, so. Um, yeah, I've seen bits of him. He's he seems like a good, good rangy, rangy fighter, rangy boxer. He's quite sharp. Um, but yeah, I think that I'll probably probably be sh he'll be sharp early on, so I'll have to be be switched on, switched on throughout. But especially early on, he he'll have that sharpness. But it's about uh, making him work and you know making him making him uncomfortable early on. Mm -hmm. How did this first like? How did this fight come about? To be honest, it got mentioned to me in uh, for around July. It was, I think, it was around the first of July, and then I think he, I, I said that have it, but then I think he got injured, um, and then he since he had a he had a fight in Birmingham, I think about seven or eight weeks ago, um, which was that is, is that that last eight rounder, um, and then it got put put to us again. I was like, yeah, go on, I'll, let's have it, because I'd, I'd kept myself fit over the summer. Um, my weight weren't too bad. I'd, I'd stayed stayed in shape, so I was in a good position to to get into camp, and I've had a good eight nine weeks for it. So yeah, it's a, it's it's been a good camp. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Everything gone good? Yeah, yeah, everything gone good. I had a good, all I was remained sane and remained active. I, I give me a, give me indeed good time to heal and, you know, you know, feel, feel fresh and feel, feel ready to, to do the job now. Mm-hmm. Is he signed with Matchroom? Yeah, he's a Matchroom fighter, isn't he? So, you know, I, I'm coming in. I'm, I'm coming in as the underdog, even though it's my hometown, it's my it's my my city, my my arena where we had a box many times before. Um, I think he, he's you know he's the matching fighter. They 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 want him to win. They don't want me to spoil the party. So it's my job to to do that. Because they they look at you and they say, even though you've got those seven defeats, um, your last two fights have been defeats, but you've had good moments in both those fights, and they're looking at you. Do you think that in a way they sort of trying to bring you in as an opponent like a good yeah. name and then to like try and capitalize it on you because you're you're coming off two defeats do you think they're looking past you in a way yeah of course yeah i think they're, they're definitely looking at me as if you know it's a little step in, I'm, I'm a stepping stone not designer use me as a bit of a measuring stick and see how good see how good he is and they probably think i am past me best now but you know i've been it was a bit unfortunate in my last fight um, and then the fight before that, you know, I wasn't a bad performance against um, Harlem Eubank. And yeah, you had him going, didn't you? Him. And he's yeah, fighting for the European soon, I think. Yeah, ne- nearly had him and, you know, just, just fell short against him. And before that, I just had a bit of bit of uh, inactivity time with the ring, which, which hasn't helped me, uh, me career. But, you know, I've still stayed in there. You know, I've always, always been in the gym. I haven't stayed out the gym. But uh, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a good chance for me to show that. I'm not. I'm not finished. What do you think? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have you done well with your tickets? Of course, the last two fights have been at London, and you've brought a decent crowd down to your call. But have you sold more? Do you sell? I, I presume you sell more tickets when you're fighting, like in Liverpool. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I've sold um sold a good good amount of tickets. Um, to be over two hundred people come to watch me. Um, <clears throat> and yeah. It's gonna it's gonna be a good night. It's gonna be an easy one. I think I'm probably gonna be on about seven o'clock. It's probably the first live contest on Sky. So, yeah, you know, sorry, not on Sky on the zone now. Um, <laughs> but yeah, looking forward to. It. Is this your first time boxing on the zone? Um, it is actually yeah, that the first time on a match room card for, for for four years. Um, since 2019, and um, when a box match I thought. Um, so that's the first time with match room for for quite a while. So, yeah, since they made that change from Sky to the zone. Are you happy to be fighting on the new platform? <clears throat> I'm just happy to be to be fighting. A good good card, good good card in Liverpool has, has been one a decent one in Liverpool for a while. Um, so yeah, glad to get the chance and you know win win this and you know I'm I'm back in the mix then. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so do you think this would be like this would repel you back into the the big title picture, which is where you want to be? Definitely, yeah. It gives me a Gives me more opportunity, so beat this kid and you know, puts me right, right back on the map. Then they, they, they look, start looking past you know them two defeats that I've had, albeit against good opposition. Um, yeah, I've I've beat someone who's up and coming, someone who, who's getting fancy by you know by Sky and by by Matt and, and and his team. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Right do you see? Do you see weaknesses um in your <clears> opponent, <throat> and do you think you'll knock him out on on Saturday? I don't think he's been it yet. So, yeah, there's always there's always the, the, that chance to see what he's going to be like, see whether he, you know, see whether he battles it. You know, it's it's his first big fight, but first big night, and you know, it's going to be interesting to see, you know, if he's if he's got what it takes and he's got the heart and you know, determination. How are you excited? How excited are you to be uh, bat boxing? Yeah, made up buzzing. Can't wait. You know, as I said to. It's a good, good night, good, good card to be on. You know, there's, there's plenty of awesome, good names on it. Um, I think the top of the bill will be a cracker. Um, you think you're, so, yeah. you're the man to steal the show? Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, seven o'clock live on the zone. That's uh, be a bit of a showstopper. I always, I always put a good performance in um, on my stream card. So let's let's hope to another one. Mhm. What can fans um expect from you? The same, the same song for that. You always see, you know, I'm always gonna, I'm always gonna be in good fights. Um, I always have been. So yeah, you know, don't, don't don't expect nothing less than you know, a good performance from me and you know, a good good night. Mhm. 
And for anyone coming down to support you, have you got a message to those fans? Yeah, just thanks to everyone who's, who's supported me right from the off and who has continued to support me now. So, yeah, I can't thank them enough. They've been a massive part in, in me career and they'll continue to be so. I've got a boss group of friends and family um, who, you know, they're, they're, you know, they're thin, through thick and thin, even when I'm boxing down in London, you know, training down to London, hotel overnight, spend to all of that. And it's, you know, it's, it can be a day too, especially with this time. Uh, this this day and age, what what it's like, and especially around the times that I've been boxing, like Christmas time coming up and what have you. So yeah, I can't thank all them enough, and you know I'm gonna be paid them on Saturday night. Mm -hmm. And um, before I let you go, do you want to thank anyone again, manager, trainer, sponsors, anyone who's helping you as always, mate? Yeah, of course. Yeah, my sponsors. Uh, I've had some little sponsors. Um, my whole chef who continues to feed me all the time. Uh, Fana. Fan engineering, my mates, um, close mates now, Andy and Andy and Kenny, um, they're always supporting me through their firm. Um, probe, probe security service, they always look after me. The cryo clinic, um, and then Scruffy Murphy, Dave and all the lads there, they've always looked after me. So, yeah, I'm, you know, I've got a great, great setup with with my team and no limits in, in the lab, uh, Joe and Tommy. So, yeah, I can't thank them all enough for the for the hours and of their time that they put into me. So. Yeah, it doesn't go on no just then. You know, I'm sure I'll repeat them on the night and you know, put a good performance in. All the work they've been doing with me. Mm -hmm. And good luck, mate. All the best. And um, yeah, I'm rooting for you, mm -hmm. mate. Good luck. Cheers, mate. See you later. Bye, mate.